in the building. Only pod can judge me. Yes, R to the what's up, man? R to the K. Yes, sir. I'm I'm good, man. How you doing, DK? Man, we back in the saddle, man. You know what I'm saying? We were on the road for a couple of weeks, but it's good to have you back, brother. Appreciate yeah. it, man. Appreciate D it. D D Wayne the Barber. Wayne D the Barber. Wayne D two five three. Come check me out. It's your boy. We in the building. It is great to be in the building. Before we get started. Hey man, y'all out there, y'all like, subscribe, hit the hit the smash the like button, man. Subscribe, tell your friends about us, man. We're trying to get out here, man. Only Pac can judge me. Hey, right. that's real talk, man. We are over a hundred subscribers within the last, what I say, five week, five to six five weeks. weeks and yeah. it's a good thing. I think the the anticipation has been um, how would I say? Tantalizing. It's been. It's been <laughs> and, 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 um, um, emotional. It's been. It's been a lot of different things. But yeah. like I said, we are here. Like I said, we're back in the studio. Our case did the tour Damn. of the graduations in Northern and Southern Cali. World tour. We back, we back in the building. We even got a special guest in the building. You can't see her. We got a college star that's in the building with us today. She's. Manning, manning the cameras, young Rakea Johnson. Shout out to my niece. First year of college is complete. Yes. We're in the building. RK, tell us about the road trip, man. Oh man, the road trip was cool, man. It was it was cool because um, you know, first it was a lot of driving, you know, like I said. Did was, you do it all first of all? Right, I did it all. Right. Oh, so Kea oh. and Jamonica didn't help at all. Wow. Oh man, I had somebody I was trying to get drive, but she didn't want to help out. Oh, so you man. know man. I, it was all on me in the end. I mean, just here. <laughs> but you know, he couldn't, you know what right, I'm saying? Right. <laughs> right. But um, it was cool, man. It was good to see everybody. It's good to talk to family, um, you know, tap in with everybody, you know, really uh, get out there and, and spend some time with people. You know? What's yeah, up, King? That's, that's good, yeah. man. You know, and everybody, you know, usually I'm traveling or, you know, one of us goes, you know right. what I'm saying? But to bring the whole family out, it was a good thing and that's everybody good. was happy to see us. That's dope, that's man. So that's real dope. How was the weather? Oh, yeah. How was the weather? The weather. The weather was interesting, man. It was it was like I was expecting, you know, that hot, hot, you know what I'm saying, like right. I'm used to. Right. But there were some days where there was some cloud covering. It was, it was looking like you brought that back here, too, bro. Because hey, we got was some cloudy here. days and some shiny days here, too. I'm like, When I got back dang. up here, man, it was already raining. I, as soon as I hit Portland, it was raining. <laughs> I'm like, oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, it took a turn for the worst real quick. Yeah. We were, it was sunshine. It was bright really and shiny. Was. And all of a sudden, I actually ended up. Going to work, with shorts I did, which on. I didn't look outside and have some shorts <laughs> on. I can't go back and change. I'm like, I'm like, like, what is oh, going God. on, man? You know, what do, man? How, how was your week, brother? So far, same man? day, man. Listen, it's been solid. It's been solid. You know, just trying to get get get, get the body right. You know, I was in the accident, so just trying to get back in action. You know, get motions, get me moving and grooving. But for the most part, man, it was really good. Like you said, it was sunny days, a whole lot of sunny days. It was like two, three weeks. Yeah. Straight up good days. Yeah. And then it took the turn for the worst. I'm like, man, RK, RK brought this weather back nah, with him. But I told man. him. I, I told him when he was down there, I said, man, <laughs> man, bring some of that weather. Look, bro. <laughs> but no, nah, it's been solid. How about yourself, King? Man, I can't complain, man. You know, every day above ground is a good day. Yes, and like I said, you just strive to be better than you were yesterday and everything that we do do. Um, I'm appreciative just of life. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And I'm appreciative of the fact that you have family and that you have friends and you're in a position where you could be successful. You right. know what I'm saying? So right. Right. we're going to open it up here um, <clears throat> with a couple of things. The first thing we're going to talk about is the current NBA Finals that's happening right now. Man. I'm a little disappointed. I think Dwayne's a little disappointed. Um, I think RK might be a little bit happy. <laughs> but, it may, again, I didn't think the dominance would take place of how it's happening right now. I thought that Miami could kind of keep that run going, but it just shows right now. The the if anybody says the big man is dead, that's a lie. Exactly. Yeah. The Joker is phenomenal. And we'll carry on. And <laughs> Go man, I, I gotta ex I gotta expound on that point. Please. I see a lot of guys that play that, that big enough to play big, and they play like guards. They play a small man's game. They want to do the run up, running layups, and but you see Joker, he's playing down there on the block, Dang back it. to the basket. Fundamentals, Tim Duncan, Damn. you know, all of Tim Duncan, all of these greats that we, big men that we know, yes. and he's getting it done. Getting Not only getting done. the MVP, but you see it really working this year in these finals. At an extremely yeah. high level. Well, they didn't give him the MVP this year, which was kind of disappointing when they gave it to Embiid, but yeah. it should have been flipped. Last year, they should have gave Embiid the uh, MVP and then Joker this year, but I think they gave him beat the finals or the MVP because of that. Yeah. But you're right. I, like you said, the big man's not dead. I think the way he plays the game, it's so unorthodox that we haven't seen it before. Yeah. Like it's like we talk all the time about like his body is like a like a 
Tyson Fury body, like it just floppy everywhere, but it's efficient. <laughs> right. Like it gets it gets what it needs to get done. Um, and, and for me, like you said, I'm not I'm not I'm not saying that I'm disappointing in the way these finals is coming. I just think uh, when I really went back and really thought about it, that Miami's an AT. That's tough. That means they they were middle of the pack the whole season. Uh, they had to play themselves in and through the playing game to even get in. And so when I really went back and think about it, they put out Milwaukee two years ago's finals. They went put Boston out last year's finals. And then who they put out? Or they put out New York, who who was just a throne. But just to go through them two teams, that's a lot. And I think they went game seven for Boston. That's a lot. So when you get into the finals, is it fatigue setting in? They've been going back and forth and saying Jimmy's hurt. I'm not sure about that. I don't know if it's, if it's fatigue kicking in or if he's really just hurt. But for me, it's not that I'm disappointed. It, it would have been a better series if we would have seen LeBron there. You know, then he might, I would have been excited. It would have been exciting for us. We would have been like, oh, man, it's a great series. A great a series that is going on. But but for me, Denver's just a, a, a well-balanced team. They're well or They almost remind me of like a San Antonio, Dallas, Detroit. Like, all, if you can mix those up in one team, that's what you get from from uh, from. But they uh, from have Denver. a bona fide superstar, though. Agree, but all them teams have bona fide superstars. Not you got to think they, Dirk, yeah. bona fide, okay. Duncan, okay. bona fide. And the only the team that didn't have one, and that's why I say they kind of remind me of the balance, is, De- is, Dow- or is the Detroit, because Detroit was a balanced team. And then this, you see Bruce Brown coming through in the finals. You see uh, the other, the, the white dude, uh, something Brown, too, like Christian Brown. You see him Christian having Brown. twenty, right. Christian Brown having right. twenty, twenty eight points. Like you're, they're getting it done, even though Murray and 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 uh, and um, Joker is the head. You see others getting it done. Aaron Gordon yeah. had twenty eight one Porter. of the games in eight. Michael Porter, I, yeah. I don't think I don't know if Michael Porter had a. It up. He has he been has sticking. Been, I don't know if he's had a great, great game yet, but he last has series, been sticking. Last series he was good. Right? Last he, series he was. He, if you're gonna, if you're a shooter, you got to be able to shoot. Agree. Finals, ah, I see this. He's there. He's gonna get a ring. I heard a stat today about Max <laughs> Struess only having two points in yes. in in two finals games yes. or no points. Yes. Yeah, two donuts. I'm like, how are you the starting shooting guard for a, a chip? And this is what I mean. They're an A seed. Yes, they got it done. The fatigue is kicking in, but uh, you have so, zero points. This is not to fight against your point, but when you get to the finals, right? The seeds the are out the window. Though. I agree. I mean, once you get there, you've actually won a series. I feel like, yeah, but at the same token, the people that played well in the last series against Boston, the role players got to be big Agreed. for for them. And Jimmy Butler can't have 40 every night. No. no. You know what Bam I'm saying? Bam. And it's like Bam stepped it up a little bit. First game. A, 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 as, as of late. But, again, they missed Tyler Hero. Yeah. Duncan, Robinson, back tonight. Duncan Robinson was shooting better. Um Lowry got it. You got you got to you got to you got to click on all cylinders to beat them. Because yeah, yeah. Jamal Murray, let's not. He's arguably MVP Borderline. MVP of, this yeah. of well of, of the playoffs. Of, yeah, yeah. I the series. Period. The Joker's been doing and, and, it. And it's yeah. just Jamal Murray is the he's the one that in the fourth quarter that's Close scoring him. twenty points and Green. the balls in his hands. So I I gotta give a huge shout out to him to come back from the injury right. and to be even better because the bubble. Everybody talks about the bubble. Jamal Murray was a killer. Yeah. And Mike Malone has stood firm and said he's a top five back. point guard in this NBA, yeah. though. Yeah. And he's backing it up with his playoff play because we're the le- we're a legends made. In the playoffs. That's, <laughs> that's all that matters. You know? You're right. That's all that matters. So it's just like I'm not going to say I feel bad for Miami, but – I would like the finals to be a little bit more interesting Exciting. than it right. is right now. I wonder it's, what the uh, ratings are for this finals. You like, gotta always yeah, look it up. I got to admit, you know, I was on the road, so that's kind of like a crutch. But, but you were like, bro, I, I haven't even seen know. none of the finals. Yeah. This whole Me too. Series, I've only seen it two quarters. I've been like, watching the headlines, uh-huh. but I haven't seen none. I've watched <laughs> every game until the one that's happening. So game two, right what happened game two? What did Miami do game two that was different? They can't do anything different because down the stretch – those guys just they, the it's, the, it's just the Joker, dog. He's scoring every way. Yeah, like yeah. You, you you guard Three, him on the perimeter. He's bringing it down the court. He Three. can shoot the jumper. He's getting by you. Yeah. He's too big yeah. and he's too and he's physical. Yeah, and he will find a way to score find no matter what. Right. If and not, find a touch. way to get it done, or he'll make the right or he'll pass. Make the right read. Right. He yeah. has a he make has the right he, read. He, he has a right. Some people are arguably saying right now he's the best player in the NBA. I want to know you guys' thoughts. And on and that. and <laughs> and people are saying if he wins this uh, if he wins this finals, they're t- talking about top five big man of all time. 
of all time. That's, that, yeah, that's a little bit. That, but that's a I, lot. I, I mean, man, that's a I gotta lot. go back to the old the the, the, uh, the quote that uh somebody else said. You know, they said uh you know he hasn't won anything yet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I gotta see the I gotta see the rings. You know what I'm saying? I, I gotta With the see S the or just a ring? Because if he gets stamped in one, they win tonight. It's done. But I gotta. It's gotta be S with that. But don't, this is gotta, this is. You gotta, be plur- you gotta be plural. You gotta but, be plural. Okay. How best many big men of all time? Tim Duncan. Got no, 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 no. They didn't say best. They said top five. Top five. And and and, and uh, Tim Duncan is is a power forward. So, so top they're saying five, top who five. Who's the other four then? They're saying top five centers. So if you if you're t- if, if, all that, time. That's top five. That's all. Yeah. Op- that's all opinion based. Who would you say the, the top five centers are right now, just off the top of the dome? Right now or in no order? No. Period. Of all time. In, the, all in time. the history of the league. Yeah. Man. I think you gotta go Will, right? He was a center, right? Okay, that, that's one. For, that's one for you. And um, 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 what's his name? Number six that passed away. Bill, Bill Russell. Russell. Bill Russell. Russell. Okay, that's Bill Russell. Okay. Uh, Shaq is definitely on the list. Shaq. Agree. Tim Duncan was a power forward. Power, power forward. forward. Yeah. So he wasn't even a center. Hakeem power forward. Yeah, he's a power forward. But no, yeah. Hakeem was center. Hakeem's a center. Hakeem was center. Yeah. Hakeem's on that list. Center. So that's up. That's four. Yes. And you're forgetting about you're forgetting about one special guy. Who? Come on, man. You got to tell me who. The Jabber. Who? Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Oh, yeah. Come on. I'm thinking he's a power forward. No, he's a, a, no, he's a yeah. center. He's, he's a, a center. center. He's Kareem a center. Abdul- okay. Yeah. Hey, yeah. that's five right there. Yes. Great. That's that's why it's tough for me. But who in your who, who's your five just off the top? I, I, I'm in the same boat. But for me, Will's not con- – to me – Whoa. He's like he's not he's not like it's not like because you gotta think didn't Wilt play with Kareem or didn't Wilt they both play? It didn't matter if they played in the same area. I know, but they both were they both play, didn't they both play with the Lakers together and they were no, both they never the, they never played the same team again. Together. You sure? I'm sure. I'm like man, if they were both on the. No, I'm like who was no. playing the center Wilt, then? Wilt, like Wilt is older than Kareem by a little. He's older than Kareem. They didn't play together. Um, um, Kareem so was like a rookie, right? His stats were. were I'm gonna let. I'm gonna, go and ahead, then I'm for me. Like I said, I don't know where Hakeem is at. Huh? I don't know if you know what I'm saying. I don't know where Hakeem is is position wise. He's I don't a know if I'm center, bro. He's a center. He plays center for the Houston Rockets his whole career. So, so for me, <laughs> for <laughs> me, this career. is me personally. Okay, okay. If Joker gets one this year, sheesh, man, those are those are Hall of Famers. Those are all Hall of Famers. He's, those are all Mount Rushmore kind of. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, that's people and then, just oh, does, he crack, then, does he crack the mouth? But uh, uh, also, in the moment. but if they put Bill yeah. Russell, Bill Russell was like 6'10", but he was playing in the league with a whole bunch of you midgets. Can, you can't control So that's why he was the center. You can't control when you play. But he, he guarded Wilt. He guarded all those guys. He guarded all the top the top bigs. I'm sorry, Russell, y'all. And, and he's the all-time winning. I'm going to yeah. have to say Joker, Joker don't get it. See that's that's the era we live in. Joker can't with, get the list with, with the right. Damn. Yeah, I I agree. It, what it is, is people caught up in the moment. No, he's not a top five center yeah. of all time yet. <laughs> yeah, not yet. What if he never goes back ever again? Right. Because Giannis won one. Yeah, is he man. considered as is is it the top five power forwards of all time? No, not yet. Right? Not yet. Yeah, you say yeah. Close. <laughs> what? The body of work, it doesn't take more. I gotta yeah. go close. I'm not saying that. I didn't say I didn't say No, I'm, a, I'm asking. I just does, said, uh... Is the body of work gotta be more? How much Yes, 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 I agree. Okay. Can he build on his legacy? Yes. Of course. Does it have to I'm be more? About right now. Does it if have to be more? If he retired today, he would he's be a top, But he's not a top five center of, of top five power forward of all time. If he retired today. Man. Arguable? No, it's not arguable. Man. No, it's not. Who? What, what five you got? Duncan. You got Duncan. You have Malone. You have, so, no, no. Listen. You're saying okay, no. What? Okay. Okay. You say Duncan. You're, 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 you're telling me it's you your no. list. I'm not. Right, I'm you saying. Told me I'm no. just gonna make an argument for. No, for you can't argue with. Let me say it. I said Malone. That's why I said. I said. Hold on. I hold on. Okay. You so Duncan Malone. <laughs> let me. Can I finish? Right. I got you. Dirk Nowinski, Garnett, and and, and Shaq. Jackson Center. I mean, excuse me, and um, 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 um no, <laughs> no, Morris Grant, definitely not. not Shaq. You got me thinking Hall of Famer. Right. It's Carl Malone, uh huh, Dirk, uh huh, Charles Barkley, Charles Barkley. Yes, top five. That's Scottie the top Pippen? five. No, he's small four. Got to hit small four. That's the oh. top five. That's okay, the, Charles that's Barkley's in there. So you got Charles Grant or, or Duncan, Garnett, Dirk. And Malone. And Malone. He's not better than none of those five. See, well, 
He's not better than none of those five right now if he retired if he retired today. <laughs> That's all know. I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. He can he can he do it as he continues to play? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I think his yeah. career, his trajectory for his career. Absolutely. But I'm talking about five. if they retire today. That's why when people say Man. people are top five, are you what are you basing it off of? Are you basing it off of the now? Because we live in the now. Yeah. Because right now they're saying all of a sudden nobody said that Joker was the best player in the world two Until this ago. year. So yeah. Nobody Tell said it two. Wrong. Nobody agree. said it two months ago. Yeah. Agree. Right. Tell us wrong. Right. No, so, I agree. I agree so, to so that. Now, but there was there was the, there was the debate going on because it became the multiple MVPs. But a lot of people were saying that he was a bias. Right. But the right. debate was to say is he better than Embiid? Yeah. It was, the true. debate wasn't is he the best player in the world. People yeah. right now are saying he's the best player in the world. Yeah. Do you, guys, so like, do you guys agree? Uh, uh, yeah, so uh, uh, that question uh, is, do you guys do you guys agree? No, no, I'm I listen. If you argue it, yes. But if you want to say make an argument, thoughts? my thoughts, Dave, I've been thinking really hard about this. Okay, I want your answer. Really hard about this. Hey, y'all, I'm sorry. Joke is the best player in the NBA right now. <laughs> wow. Joke, there's nothing this guy can't do. Like Joker to me, that's my opinion. What, what's your take? <laughs> on Only five right? can judge me. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Only five can judge you. You're right. What's your thoughts? Who's the best player in the league? Who's the right? best? Is he the is the Joker the best player in the world? No, no. Okay, no, he's not okay. the best. Is player he? In the world. Is he the best player in the world to you? No, he's not the best player. Where's he at? All right, okay, Kel. So if he's not the best, where's he at on the list then? It remains to be seen. Where is he at on the list? He's a top. We five. are only he's only, a, only pot, huh? He's a top five player in the NBA. Top five player in the NBA. I can respect that. that so that, so where, if he's top have, five, that means he's not three he, on your he, list. He could be four. You could say top three. No, he said he could be four. Right. He so could be five. five. He's four or five. Be five. I Agreed. think he's top ten. I don't give him top five. Wow. Yeah. It's it's it's, 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 tough. it's it's tough. But like you said, okay, you haven't watched yeah. the finals, so you might be missing yeah, just a little I mean, bit. But that means I'm not captain of the moment either. Yeah, Jeez. but or you also could have been it could have been you were traveling. Yeah. 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 You were You were You were Down in Cali, they go fast. Right. 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 So I mean that, like I said, the, the finals, man. Um, the, the valiant effort by the Miami Heat, but I yeah. think that I mean, because yeah, I mean, look at that. We're talking top five, but we're looking at Jimmy Butler, who's trying to carry this team on his back. By himself, where does he rank in that top five? Then no, he don't get no, no he don't get no credit no. For, for carrying that team. No, as many as many caveats as we give to LeBron James when he doesn't win, uh, Jimmy dang, Butler doesn't get that same. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. He Go doesn't ahead. get that Look, same grace. I agree. I'm, I'm, I, you done? Uh, I'm done. <laughs> so this is why Jimmy Butler, to me personally, doesn't doesn't earn that because they were just talking about it today about him. Is is Jimmy Butler a superstar? So when you think about his game, do you think super? Do you think of I'm ta- he's taking over games. Jimmy Butler to me has always been his first mindset is a, is a defender. So he's like a three and D with the ability to take over and the ability to change games because he does that on that. When we think of Steph Curry, we're thinking of all offensive, like superstar. When we think of LeBron, we're thinking of all offensive superstar. When we think of Giannis, we think of all offensive superstar. We he's Durant, all offensive superstars. Like well, when we, well, no, I'll take not to cut you off, but. Giannis, we think a two-way player. Agree. He's the only. I he, I take. Well, when we think of LeBron, you know, we think of LeBron definitely. But I mean, you could be whatever your biased opinion about how you feel about him. I'm but just saying. I'm just saying because we think of LeBron, we think of LeBron three levels. We think right. of rebound, we think right. of triple doubles. Right. But for Giannis, you are right. Giannis is the closest that we think of two-way other than Jimmy Butler. When we think of Jimmy Butler, we first the first thing come to mind is. He's a he's a shutdown. He was shut down. He's he's the only so you player. think of him as a lockdown defender first, and and then his offense is what you're saying. I think of him as a player for Miami. They have a identity. They have like a culture. Like we know the grit, the grind. So when I think of Miami, I don't think of oh Jimmy Butler's getting buckets. I think of Jimmy Butler has a culture that he buys into, that he headlines, that he runs. But that's what I think when I think about Jimmy Butler. I don't think of oh man, Jimmy Butler's killing for Miami. Like he's averaging thirty. Like no. Is he doing that in the playoffs? Has he done that in games? Yes. But you immediately think of, when you think of Miami, I'm like, man, they got a grit. They got a culture down there. They got a Pat Riley. Like, it's cool. Eric Spolster doing his thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's what I think about JB. Mm. You got some feedback on that? Because I I got some. I want to hear your feedback on that. My thing is, he's second team all NBA. Agree. Yeah, he's second team all NBA. Mm. He's a superstar. He's a superstar. He's carrying the franchise. He's a superstar. And for him to... Bring them out the mud like that. He deserves that. He's more than an all star, to me. He's a superstar. Is he? Uh, 
megastar. Okay. I wouldn't say that. Agreed. But I'm saying he's a superstar in the realm of being able to carry a team and they're leading to follow his lead in order to win. Uh, I agree. So, you, so yeah. you can. So essentially, we're saying that we can build a franchise. We can build a team around Jimmy Butler and win. They, it's, it's happening right now. And we, we're seeing it. He, we've been seeing it for multiple years, even though he hasn't got over the hump. Correct. So, I just think my opinion is I think Jimmy Butler doesn't have all the pieces he needs. You're right. He's not the offensive juggernaut, even though he'll drop forty for you consistently. But if he had a, a solid number two next to him, I think it's a whole different. I just think he's extremely unselfish, and he uses the team concept more than just about a any, any superstar. Right. In the fact of, but when, I agree. When, but solid, you though. can't You're have, right about you can't have a nickname. Jimmy Buckets. Yeah. <laughs> you can't have a nickname if you're not getting buckets. Agree. I agree. I agree. Yeah. So, so yeah. but where were you going with that? Like, like Jimmy Butler is the ultimate. Like, if I wanted to play with somebody, I'm like, bro. And I know somebody that's gonna go to back and go to war for me. I want Jimmy out of all them stars. But everybody's not lining up to play with them though. That's I, the, that's the that's the mystery. It's like, I guess they know they're gonna get called out on their BS. Agree. That's they, exactly what it is because, because he going because he embodies a culture. People, people didn't like he playing with Kobe Bryant. People didn't like playing with Michael Jordan. Yeah. Right. It's right. because there's a certain expectation. Yeah. yeah, agree. And there's a certain expectation. Agreed. Like I said, I mean, I, I've I've watched him enough to see that he has all the tools. He's six eight. Agree. He can yeah. guard. He can shoot. He can yeah. pass. He's cold. He, he's gonna yeah. he's gonna give you his last. You exactly. know what I'm saying? Agreed. He doesn't right. make excuses when they lose either. Oh. Yeah, and that's the thing that I respect. He's about a dog. Him. Respect yeah. about him. He's the a most, dog. So. He's, like I said, that Miami. When you think of when I think of Miami, even when even when LeBron and, and uh, Bosh and Wade when them was there, I never thought of oh man, they're high flyers. They Showtime. No, I really thought about Miami as like the grit. Like I remember uh, uh, Tim Hardaway and uh, and Alonzo Mourning and and, yeah. and Eddie or Eddie jo- Eddie Jones. Yeah. I remember I re- when D Wade first got there. I remember how gritty they were. It wasn't like a uh, I'm gonna put up 120 points. So time, no, they were like, hey, they have a culture in Miami, and I think that uh, uh, out of all the players in the NBA, Jimmy Butler embodies that. Like, it, it was a perfect fit for him when he went to Miami. Like, geez, like it was like a glove for him. Like, here you should be in Miami if you or or Chicago was. I'm Chicago s- somewhat of it when they had um, the uh, Derrick co- Rose and Noah. And what was the Thibodeau? coach's name? Thibodeau. Thibodeau. Because Thib- Thib- that's what kind of person he was. Right. But um, um, that was just the coach. With Pat Riley being in Miami, it's, the it's like the it's the culture, right? Exactly. It's just like San Antonio has it, exactly. had, had it, how right. it had, how right. it once was, right? With Tim Duncan, and again, so people don't give Tim Duncan the credit he deserves yeah. with being he played in the same era as Kobe, but they put Kobe so much higher yeah. over him. But he won yeah. in that same era same, same five amount. championships, right. right? And that's why I I just think in, because he was basic, Agreed. and it was big fundamentals, he doesn't get the credit. Yeah. But he was a mega star. Agree. In the he, he was, he was, a, yeah. he was a, so I see Jimmy Butler's not quite there yet, but I yeah. think his superstar status is there yeah. based off him carrying. Yeah. Man, so what? You know, I don't, I don't want to just you know manhandle the whole conversation, but I'm just like, what does he need? What is lacking from his team that you guys see? Because I haven't watched the series. Tyler, he, he needed Tyler Hero. Yeah. He needed a score. Well, you got somebody got to be able to have somebody else that can help. Agree. Be, sometimes be the Batman in scoring. Agree. But also, Agree. Some, and he, and he right. might be the Robin that picks it up in the fourth there quarter. There you go. Yeah. Like Tyler Hero's there a bona fide score, but if there he had go. another superstar Agree. with him that could flat out score, yeah, yeah. it'd be it'd make them yeah. much tougher. Because Bam is just a. Good all around role player, right. big right. that can big do role, a little, do a little bit of this right. and do a little bit of that. But there might be some days he has ten he has points, two points. That ain't gonna be that ain't gonna get it cut. Right, that ain't gonna be enough. You gotta because get, he doesn't have an offensive repertoire. He don't have nothing in his tools in his bag for him to get to the bucket or for him to score. Like you were saying, if they had like another, and it don't gotta be a bona fide score. They gotta be someone who's like a 20, 20, 20, 21, 20 point, that's, point that, score. Right, that's bona, and a that's bona fide. Like, like, like a Desmond Bain, you know, who yeah, could just you, go, you 20, like you, you know, that will just on nights nice where you're not going. Because yeah. Jimmy Butler, you know what you're gonna get from him energy wise. He's gonna give it all, like you say, fourth quarter. He's gonna try to close if he can, if it's close. And that's what they did in game, and what they did in game two. They they was able to have enough for someone to close. Because I want to say Bam in that game, I think he had four. Yeah, something high. Yeah, like 28. Something high alongside of Jimmy Butler, even though they almost lost. Yeah. They almost lost it on the buzzer beat of three. Um, and it, but, it, but, the, but it went out. But that's what they had. They had Shrews, I think, that was killing that game. They had Duncan Robinson to start that fourth quarter. Had like eight, eight points just to start it. So they had people who were showing up. But if they had one person who was like a bona fide go-getter, yeah. I, think, I think they could be solid. Or I think they could contend. Yeah, they could contend. But yeah. like right now, it's, my, it's um, Denver's time. 
Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? The, yeah. the, big, yeah. men, the big men is alive, and yeah. Jamal Murray, they deserve it yeah. with all the hard work and dedication. Um, kind of touching base on the next subject, Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. Um, he, he had a fight this weekend. I don't know exactly where the fight was, but I don't either. Um, <laughs> it turned into a double feature, man. You guys would expound upon that. That that was that was crazy because when I'm watching the highlights, I'm like, I know the referee kept saying, and that's Floyd Mayweather's referee, yeah, the guy. And he, guy. like I said, yeah, so he is. The, I don't know what the other guy exactly was doing. What's what's the dude's name? Uh, what uh, is this, uh, John uh, Gotti. Yeah, yeah, yeah John, John Gotti's son. Was it Amir Gotti or something? No, it's John uh, Gotti the third. He's, he, a, he's, a, he's like the he's like the third of uh, John Gotti from the mob. Oh, oh. That, the, oh that's for real. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, family so, tree. Yeah. See, I didn't I didn't know I who he God. really was. Okay, <laughs> right, right. I'm like, how do you even get that? Okay, okay. 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 You didn't even uh, fight. That's boy. actually I wouldn't even get that fight if I was Floyd because that you don't know what that what that entails, but. All of a sudden, I just see everybody jumping through the ring like it was a Royal Rumble in wrestling. Yeah. And they were moving fast, Yes, too. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like I couldn't tell who was on whose side, though. Yeah, yeah. You guys want to expound on that? Uh, it was mayhem, man. I, I, I didn't watch the whole fight. I just seen the highlights, and it was wild. I yeah. see, <laughs> I see where they, uh, basically, the uh, uh, John Gotti the third was uh, roughhousing, you know what I'm saying, in the fight, and the I ref did, called the yep, fight. You know what I mean? And then he went to, he got frustrated by the calling of the fight and tried yeah. to, you know, take off on Floyd. Right, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. He wanted to be like, some no, no, real. No, 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 no. <laughs> Get out of the way, cuz. I'm about to see y'all for <laughs> Right, right. And he swung, you know what I'm saying? He tried to swing at him and, and, and Floyd and beaked him a couple times, like once or hey. twice. And, it, and, you know, the, the crap, I mean, you know, Floyd's people. Right. Hey, the money team the came. Money team, the money team. They comes, showed up. Comes you know in saying? droves, right? Yeah. Hey, when you droves. think about it, his up. payroll, his payroll got to be big. Because <laughs> like you say, there was a, when I was looking at it myself, this is my opinion, like when I, I was seeing, Floyd didn't even, didn't even move. So after, after dude came into the ring and was trying to charge him, yeah. he gave him with a left little hook, like, pow, he still got speed. Like, cause, he was blocking, blocking, yeah, blocking. Yeah. And then Fault one just he bopped. Got what he did. I was like, okay, Floyd. But Floyd Floyd's didn't, the greatest. He didn't, he didn't even he didn't even he, 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 he didn't even go into the corner or nothing. He was all the bodyguards rushed my guy, he was in the corner, like stuck. But Floyd was like, look, let me try to get at him still. Like, Floyd, I was then like, he started Bruh. sitting on the turnbuckle dancing like <laughs> yeah, he was. Like, <laughs> my guy's payroll has to be big. Like he still got dollars. Everybody trying to say he broke. Man, nah, God. listen, in don't, order to keep don't like believe, that around him. Don't believe any of that hype to say <laughs> that man's that bro, broke. That boy, nah. look. They're just they're hating because 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 they hate him. He yeah. is caked up and he's done it the right way. And he he proved it with how he, what he does in boxing. Right. He created a whole different narrative. That's why the Tank Davises, that's why the Earl Spences and the Bud Crawfords yeah. Yeah. and the Shakur Stevensons can make this type of money with promotions because Floyd Mayweather actually was the pioneer that paved that way. Yeah. That actually created the 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 whole Railroad to the fact of get hit the least amount as you can and be able to enjoy your money after boxing, right? Yeah, and enjoy right, the right. different things after boxing. That's why you can hate on him if you want, but he said one thing: just rest assured that you can't change the fifty and up. Yeah. Well, so there's right. nothing you yeah. can really do about it. You know what I'm saying? Man, I'm wondering if he still needs to even do these exhibition fights anymore. Well, how like, much is he getting is he... paid from? He's getting paid so much. To I do don't it. know. He's doing them yeah. like every other month now. Right. But it's right. outside Japan, the country because it's, Japan. it's almost like it's like, <laughs> it's, like, it's, like it's like sparring. Yeah, man. He's like he's out of the country on his own plane, yep. enjoying the finer things in life, yeah. getting a, a twenty million dollar payday. For forty five minutes of work, yeah, man. Would you do it? Of course, absolutely. Would you do it? Right. Would you do it? Paying for the whole a vacation. Absolutely. Look, if I'm spending yeah. forty mil on a vacation. Look. Of course. Man. Would you do it, Kaya? Absolutely. Forty. You forty five <laughs> minutes of work in the ring, Most and, he, and he, in these sparring sections, and he's taxing people, yeah. and he's giving the people in other countries a chance to see the greatest fight. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's like with right. LeBron James coming here to Seattle, as and Kobe Bryant coming here to Seattle without a basketball team just to watch. Rest in peace, Kobe. Man. But it just did something the kids had never seen the great Kobe Bryant. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or the fact of seeing, for example, that you see um, LeBron James at SPU. You yeah. were there. Yeah. You were there. Yeah. You guys were there the yeah. calm before the storm. Yeah. And it, how peaceful it was Man. like three hours right. before, four hours right. before. Yeah. And yeah. then all of a sudden, it was mayhem. It was mayhem. You know I'm what I'm like, saying? Zombie land. Right, right, right. Right. Like, look, just even get, when he came out. Right. Like, I'm right. like, with yeah. nobody on the court. Right. When he came oh, out. Right. Man, like, when they say, when I've heard, I've, you know, I've been at a lot of concerts and I see it, but when they say the energy is electric, yeah. it oh. was electric in that oh, building, man. man. It was yeah. crazy. You could feel it. Everybody right. could feel it. Yeah. That was a, a 
man, it was like a once in a lifetime type experience. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. see him walking through. I, I know the kids couldn't believe it. They sit right. there. Look, the adults couldn't believe the adults, it. Right. Because they, they were the on the court. Like, right. 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 We, had, we honestly had one of our security guards <laughs> try to block LeBron's shot. You can go look at it on YouTube. <laughs> he was so caught in the movement that he tried to block his shot, oh man. Tripping, That's man. what I'm saying. So everybody, right. it was just, it's a different thing. So when the, those Super people in other hard. countries get a chance to see Floyd Mayweather because he normally fights in Vegas, yeah. they'll, ne- they'll only see it on TV. Yeah. He's packing out whatever arena they're whatever in. Whatever they're in. Automatically, and the person that he's fighting is like, wait, I'm fighting Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. Regardless of his exhibition, exhibition and nobody wins, it's still an opportunity to say, that's a bucket list thing. Yeah, to say, I fought You know what I'm him. saying? To say, Look, I, I fought Floyd. Why do you think that the, um, what's his name's brother? What's his name? Um, that fought Floyd. One of, the, one of the YouTubers. What's his name? Jake Paul? His brother. Logan Paul. Logan Paul. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. I had Floyd stunned. No, yeah. He's, I hit him once. Like, like, I got to punch him. Like, like, he'll, he'll never live that down. No. Yeah, you no. know what I'm saying? Because it's 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 that type of thing. When greatness moves, man, it, it brings something out of you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And Floyd, if I can keep, keep, keep getting paid $20 million and $25 million to fight for 45 minutes, I'm going to do it till my hands don't work. Interesting stat. Just found out. Floyd's last 10 fights, he was fighting with one hand because his hand was broke. I did hear that. Yeah. It was his last 10 fights, he was fighting with one hand because his hands, every he couldn't really ball it. So that's why the fights went so long that he gave people 12 rounds because he would tax at you, tax he at was, you. Yeah, he but he couldn't, really he didn't have the knockout power no more right. because his hand was broke. I did hear that. Yeah. And that, hear that. how crazy is that? So it even yeah. goes to show you how his greatness at this sport, he he's, he's a perfectionist. He's beating him with one hand. Yes, yeah. but you know, um, you know, like you said, it motivates you. He must have motivated Jocelyn Hernandez because. Uh, oh oh man. man, let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> Jocelyn Hernandez. Oh, she was packing out everybody. Man, you know what I'm elaborate <laughs> elaborate on that, bro. Because I oh, man. I saw a glimpse, but <laughs> I didn't. She was fighting like a dude. She was hey, fighting and, like a dude, and she was trying to back people up. Like, nah, let me just get at her. Like, and she was taking on everybody, anybody around in her vicinity. She was swinging on. Was she on something? I, oh, she man. says she's not on on anything anymore, but I don't oh, know. Oh, ain't anything anymore, because like when you have that type of adrenaline yeah, rush, that's yeah, look like right. yeah. you saw the movie Super Crank. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you, got a you get turned up. You get turned up. Yeah. <laughs> she was turned up. Right. Show. And, and she, she was, was swinging like a dude, yeah, man. Yeah. I'm like, man. What you guys yeah. take? What you guys yeah, take on that, man? I thought that was crazy too. Like, like I said, she was backing people up. Like, hold on, let me get in her. Let me get in her. I think one of the securities was laying on her, laying on the girl to try not to, so she couldn't punch her no more. Oh, and man. then that's when they started like, look, back up, let me kick her in the head. I'm like, Jeez, but, these guys is. I mean, even on that tip, I, I looked at looked at, did a little history on this. I guess that girl, Big Lex or whatever, was talking mess, talking about when I see her, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to run up oh, on her energy. Oh, oh so it was premeditated. She, oh. she had a lot okay, of Okay, so it was beef. Yeah. yeah. It was beef. It was okay. beef. Yeah, okay. it was solid. So she yeah. knew what she seen. Or she well, shot Big Lex, yeah. Big Lex, yeah. she turned into a little Lex. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Exactly. <laughs> like, 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 it was throwing up in a fetal position. Like, no, don't do it to me no more. Oh, man. So I guarantee that it, wait, does that show still go on? The uh, real, 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 real housewives. housewives. No, I think I think she's a bad girl. Okay, is that bad girls club? Oh, yeah, love and hip hop. Yeah, so if hip-hop. that shows, I guarantee nobody won't be talking to Mess to try nah, to fight her no more. Right. <laughs> I, 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 I think Jocelyn got the belt right now. Right, right. It'd be, <laughs> if so, it'd be well scripted where you know as much head as you can talk, and you tell them people, "I'm about to say this." So. When we get ready to move, you make sure you hold hey, you me back. Better, you, you know, better make sure, bro, bro, exactly. you better make sure you, you, keep better it make sure you get her first. <laughs> right, you better keep, <laughs> keep it all the way scripted. You know what I'm saying? Love and hip hop. Yeah, yeah. Her first. yeah, she was throwing them things. Yeah, she's yeah, serious. She, it, hey, she was thang thang. You, you don't really see women up. fight like that too much no more. Like that is more like a cat fighter. Somebody's trying to grab some hair. No, it wasn't about grabbing hair. Oh, no. It was about throwing bowls. She was throwing bowls and stomping around and everything. That was pretty bad. Hey man, homies running in there too. Right. Right. What what about Brittany Griner though, gentlemen, Man. in the airport? Just I mean, any any insight on that? Like it's always something, yeah. things that make you go hmm. Yeah, yeah. So 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 what I'm what I was hearing earlier about it, it was um, um you know that they um for WNBA they fly like commercial like what's what's the, what's the flight that you fly? Everybody flies. What are those commercials? Commercial. Yeah, commercial yeah. flights. So they were like the whole all the teams. Since they was like WNBA WM- fly, flies commercial, flies commercial. You know that for a fact. 
for a fact. Wow, Last that's, year they were that's flying rude. That's so that's listen, rude. wait, wait, hey, they were flying commercial. That's rude. So even for them to check in, got a plane. Like no, 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 right, right. <laughs> so, so, so for them to even for them to even check in, they have to check and go through the lines. Like they gotta go else, like regular, like regular people, all wow. the flights. And so now the WNBA has changed. So, so then, re- rewind. Uh, New York, had, I guess their team got whoever was on their team has a lot of money. So New York was was booking like private jet flights. For for their team to get around, right? And they got fined. They got fined. Took away one of their draft picks this year because of they was flying their players around like right. luxury, private, right? Right. right. Wait, wait. They, they they lost a draft they pick lost because a of draft that? pick because wow. they were flying their players around the way they wanted to go. And so then I guess NBA, or WNBA has came out with a rule this year that if they have overnight fly, or overnight games, games that are in different different or, or the next next another game in another city the next night that they can fly privately. But she was flying. Uh, I guess she's like a big girl, like six. Was Brandy like six six or six six, six seven? So six, for her six, flying yeah. commercial or flying commercial, like she's not fitting in one of those. Right, uh, she needs small... first class. Right, right. So I guess she was charting charting some other flight, and one of the guys had came up and approached her like, "Hey, why, why, why are you here? You, you, you can't be here." So that's the kind of little scuffle that they were going back and forth of thinking that gotcha. she only could have fly commercial, like everyone else is flying commercial. So that's what the whole scuffle was yeah. about. Oh, man. Yeah, that's, but the, that's, that's what crazy. the whole WNBA is like. They fly. They Man, fly. See, that's, you can why, see. that's honestly why I wish Kobe Bryant was still alive because I believe he was pushing for the, the WNBA. direction that he was going. He was. He was going to take over and be the commissioner of the WNBA. I see that. Wow. Which they would have had. Would have. Which By they would have had came. more. More. That's. I don't. I don't think that's right. It's a professional women's team. They deserve to fly private just like the NBA. Yeah. Now, I don't know if no, what the funding looks like, so I can't speak to that point, right. but. If the if that organization, like you said in New York, wants to fly their team private, yeah. why can't they, they do got that? Fine for it. They got fined and lost a draft pick because if that's why when people trip about equality as far as that goes, unless it's a money thing, yeah. then I get it. Yeah. But let's raise some money so these women can can yeah. fly private. Right. Then they should have right. some standards. Yeah, like okay. it's like what like what are we talking right. about? Right, because I mean, I've heard the same thing about the bubble and uh, the, the the women's workout facilities where like their yeah. their food. Their, their, their food the that portions. they were being fed, yeah. yeah, and their workout facilities were, were sub That's yeah. not okay. I'm yeah. like, and they were and they're right down the street from each other. Like, yeah. they're, they're, like they're, they they're were... the best in the world too in their in their genre. Yeah. And they yeah. so right. the, the NBA should have standards for the NBA and standards for the WNBA. They can't they can't preach equality and not practice it. Right, that's real. But I not, agree with that. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. They should be in the same line as me. Trying to get in a commercial flight, you got to go through. No, all they that. really are. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not 100 sold on. Because if or I'm knowing. first class, I'm not going through that line. I got a secret way that I'm going yeah. in. Yeah, They're not all flying first class, so obviously right. somebody's sitting in a commercial seat in a right. regular Man. standard right. <laughs> seat. Peanuts right. and orange juice is like the rest. Right. Of right. Like, seriously, <laughs> like, that's what I'm talking, that's, crazy. that's crazy. I don't know what their salary is, this, but I'm pretty sure. Like, I think it's only like 250 thousand that they're only making. The the stars, like. Like the the Brittany Grinders, like the Maya Morris, like the uh, and I think you got to be in the league ten years to make that two hundred fifty thousand. Like Sue Bird, I think she's only. I don't even know if Lauren Jackson right now, not Lauren Jackson, or, or what's the girl that was just at Brianna Stewart. Brianna, I don't know if she's making two hundred fifty thousand. Right, That's right. why they go overseas and go play in these different leagues and rushes, and they play overseas yeah. because overseas is getting paid more. That's why they're doing it. But yeah, you got to be a ten the, year. They do that in the off season so they can get the extra money. Right. Yeah, somebody needs to take over that WNBA that um, that's going to file for like a CBA or something because if you watch the college women's basketball, it was just exciting as the men. This right. pa- this if past, not, if this, not more. This past, but I mean, is it the caliber of players? Because I've seen a lot of good players that come from these organizations um, that they just got to – I understand it is not going to be exactly what the NBA is, but let's get it as close to as possible. I think that's one of the things that Kobe – was pushing for because his daughter, yeah. rest in peace, Gianna. She was she was she one was of those. Yeah, she was on the way. She was yeah. one of those. So it's just like it's just unfortunate that the women got to fly a regular commercial I mean, flight. That's not okay. That's Lisa not. Leslie is a household name. You know what I mean? She's a great in the, from the WNBA. So th- their players have this. They, they have stature. They are they are known across the across Candace the Candace Parker, the best ever. Candace yeah. Parker, right. come on. So they got to. She's the, the goat. The, the WNBA I'm, I'm should sure have something about it that, that regular class. But no, well, she well she's with ESPN, so TNT, <laughs> TNT. So I'm yeah. pretty sure she ain't. She she got her well, own. She, but, she's she's yeah, flying yeah, first yeah. class for sure. But right. they that's gotta work TNT. that out. She got money. Yeah, they got yeah. they got to work that out. That ain't right. Yeah. Man. That ain't right at all. Not at all. Well, let me ask you guys this: 
Tiafil Lopez. There was a fight with him and Josh Taylor yeah, this weekend, yeah. and he was he brutal, brutally, brutally beat up Josh Taylor. At least, at least 11 to 1. And they act like the fight was supposed to be close, but then I hear today that the man retired. Is there any truth to that, gentlemen? Oh, man, I seen him on Max Kellerman's show earlier today, and he was saying that he was retiring. Yeah. I don't know if he's... I don't know if he believes that. I think he... He might be doing a ploy, some Agreed. some hype to try to Agreed. try to yep. you know garner some 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 attention. Agree. Because he said he doesn't want Haney. He, okay. he mentioned that yeah. he said he doesn't want Haney. He said that's cut and paid. But he wants to do something exciting. But he kind of called out Tank. Yeah. He wants that money fight. Agree. Yeah. He wants something exciting. Yeah. You better be careful what you wish for. Yeah. <laughs> you are too light in the cakes for that <laughs> hey, pit bull right just, there. He just wasn't junior welterweight. Yeah, that's yeah, what I was going to say. But, Tyler, but but Taylor had, had the belt. But Josh Taylor, man, he didn't look like a champion. He, well, I don't know how he had the belt. But one, ain't nobody in 140, though, that but, we really know like, of. If, I, if yeah. we're being so honest, it, how bad did Cambosis look against Haney? And he beat Tiafimo. Yeah. yeah. You see what I'm saying? So it's yeah. like styles make fights. But leave Tank alone. That's yeah. my advice. In that, in that, in that, <laughs> leave in that. him alone. But the only thing is, is how is he gonna fight Tank if he, if he's at Tank's only staying? Tank said he's staying at one thirty five. Yeah. And Tiafimo fought and got those belts at one forty. Yeah. So, so, it'd so be it's tough all, for it's him. All, to, it's all talk. Like Little yeah. Ellaby said, he said everybody wants to talk about it. Right. To it's time to really happen. And he said all those guys talk, but all of them know they really don't want to fight him. Right. Yeah. Just like Ryan Garcia. Oscar De La Hoya and them guys put that young man in, oh, the, in that position for that fight. You seen that? He, he's going at De La Hoya and yeah, yes, Hopkins yes, saying you that see, they didn't have his back right, another? Right. You yeah. see that now? Yeah. You see that now? Yeah. They they wanted to force the hand to get the payout. They got 2.5 for that, right? Yep. And so and he made the kid look like child's play. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he made the kid look like child's play. So there's certain people that you don't want to bark up the wrong trees. Like, you can't get the Mike Tyson – they wore the black shorts with the cutout towel when he walked to the ring. <laughs> right. You don't want that. You don't want that Mike Tyson. Right, right, right. You don't want that Mike Tyson. Not the man. You don't no, want. No. You don't want that Floyd Mayweather. That this this beating up on people. Right. This the pretty boy Floyd. When he after he turned from pretty boy Floyd to the money Mayweather, they you didn't want to fight him. You should have caught him when he was pretty prior, boy Floyd. Prior to yeah. Right. Once De La Hoya right. came, right. You don't want anything. He, he, he mastered the sport. He did. I agree. And that's that's the problem. Like. You can still get a good payout, Tiafimo. Go fight Haney. Go fight Stevenson. Go fight. Go. For, who else is in that? Who else is in that class? But I think all of them are in 135. Haney's the only one that might move up to 140. Shakur, Shakur's 140, ain't he? No, Shakur's fighting 135. 130. He, he, fight, just he just got. He, he, he was just, at 130 okay, and he okay, just okay, got to okay. 35. Yeah, I, I think. I, I mean, I think. Okay, aside from the retirement thing and the, the you know that play, I kind of think that he needs. He from the. The sound of what they're saying of, about him, he needs somebody. He needs a challenge in order to to, to rise up for the fight. Yeah. I say if he wants to get in there and you know what I'm saying with, with with uh with Tank or somebody and get you know and test his skill, <laughs> test his metal, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. I say get in there. That. You know what I mean? Good luck with that. But that's true. I it's mean, because nobody who's who's running up who's who else is running up to to really fight uh to really fight uh, uh Tank. Who's really calling him out? Nobody, Shakur and, and Haney is kind of saying, say, like, well, Shakur is saying something. Haney ain't saying nothing. Yeah. Shakur said he don't mind. He, he said Haney he ran after the Yeah, Haney don't yeah. want no parts of none of, none of us. He yeah. said, I'm the still the champion, and he's going to run with that. I'm the champion. Oh, that's what, yeah, he I'm, said, I got the belts. I'm just saying, be careful <laughs> with what, you, yeah. what you wish for. I, that, that's all yeah. I'm saying. But I, on another note, Agent Broner fought this weekend, right? Oh, yeah. I didn't see, I, I didn't see it, it, though. Yeah, and yeah. AB won. He got a title now. <laughs> he got a belt. <laughs> he got the belt. <laughs> he got the, what did what, you, what you say he said? Did you see his interview? <laughs> I, see, I heard him. <laughs> and, 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 and what, and what wait, hey, he's <laughs> off the chain, dog. AB. AB, he said, I'm back. He said, like, I never left. He said, I'm back like I never left, man. You know what I'm saying, man? I'm back like I never left. That's AB. AB can box a little bit, but you just got to. Keep yeah. it under it just box. I wouldn't mind man. seeing T Fimo go fight A B if he got a belt. <laughs> that might not be bad. Yeah. That yeah. might not be bad. What about the rumors that Canelo and Charlo? Ooh. Yeah. That's good. Now which Charlo head. brother is it? Jamil, the bigger one. He Canelo better go sit down. No. I think they both are I think they both are solid though. They both are amazing. The but, but, yeah. but the undefeated right. one, you don't want to fight him, man. <laughs> yeah, he yeah. hits too that's like fighting David Benavides. 
No. He don't want that. He don't want that fight either. Canelo don't want neither one of those fights. will drop both of them. I don't. I gotta see it. I gotta see it first. Drop both of them. I gotta see that first. I'm a Benavidez fan, but the 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 Charlo is the champion. Is undefeated. He, he hits smoke. so hard, dog. That's what we need. Benavides versus the Charlo that he hits hard. The, That'd be a good fight. You don't want the smoke. Canelo don't want the smoke. That's what we're Canelo, talking about. Canelo, you're, 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 Canelo's, he's slowing down. He, he, yeah. He's old. He's man. old. He's at, I think uh, before he even came over here, I think it was like 52 fights. It was something, uh, something high. Yeah, yeah, Some, yeah, before he even like, fought Floyd, he already had fought like 37 times. So yeah, Canelo's so, at he the already stage, had a, like a good fight for Canelo is uh, Stevenson. Because Shakur, Shakur Stevenson, because he's Canelo's at the age where he's at the he's aging out, so he got a, the young rookies to get their to get their but, they, know, but that's, their, that, that's their credibility. A, they need to fight an old guy that yeah. show that they can you know they can. Who would so, win that fight, Stevenson or Canelo? No, no, no Shakur's too small. Shakur's only Shakur, what would they fight at? Canelo fights at fifty at fifty four. At fifty four, oh yeah. Shakur is Shakur is at Canelo 30, fights at fifty four. Yeah. yeah. And what is the Charlo at? The Charles at, 50, at 54 with him. Yeah, wherever wherever that, he at. The, 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 big, Charlo, the big one. The big he, one's at 50. He, hey, he's no joke. He's at, I think he's at 154. Now, the one that lost, he's no joke, too, but he, he got a, he could, there's a kink in his he, arm. You, he, yeah, he can lose. He lost, yeah. but he did win it back, though. No, he did. He you're right. You're right. But what I'm saying is, the other one, Yeah. he hits, so and he never gets tired, dog. There's like Earl Spence. I, he's young. I agree. Like he Earl is young. Spence. Does Earl Spence ever get tired? I've never saw him get tired in a fight. Nah. But he doesn't do much. And he's, I don't see any of you. He, he's, he's, he's not coming, that kind he's of a fighter. He's coming at your body. But he doesn't. Countless. He, he's at your body countless. Yeah, but he also landed. He's also only throwing, like you say, 20, 25 punches around. Yeah, check the stat. He's not. It, because it, he's it, landing it, like a high. No, clip. He's no, landing he's, like he's throwing more 62. than 62. I know he's, he's landing. He's throwing more than that, though. I'm telling you, Earl he, Spence is one of the most accurate fighters I've ever right, seen. Right. He's landing a lot. Yeah, and he landing, hurts people. Yeah. He hurts people when he does it. He hurts your body when he does it. Man, I've seen. He, I've he seen, hurts your body. I've dog. seen. I've seen a few spin he's fights. Solid, though. He's solid. And for me, this and this is and we we talked about it previously. This is why I'm somewhat leaning towards Crawford is because he's like a like what are what are those those Raptors or one of them people who or they would call a con, or not man what am I talking chameleon like he's able to adapt to different styles in the ring. Who like, is? Uh, um, um, Crawford. Crawford. Because he's able to, because he's able to box natural. So Spence and doesn't do that. We, I, I've never seen, I've never seen Spence in a fight switch up his whole style mid fight or even mid round. I never seen he, Spence really hurt or like, you know, be or, pressed. Or, yeah, or pressed or anything. Or have to have he, to go into he, he did a, bag. a bag. A bag, right? He did Agree. It. He's, he's always been in control right. of so the whole. You watched the Ugas fight at my house. He yeah. did it then. No, he was in control of no, it. No, no, it was it, in the beginning, and then he 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 switched his style up and closed oh. his eye. You got to look at the fight again. I have to go look at the fight. Yeah, uh-huh. you got to look at the I, fight I, again. I remember watching. And I told Arcade, okay, watch this. He's like, bro, he's hammering him now. He got hit because they they they, they he thought that the referee said time, and he got hit in his mouthpiece, got knocked out of his mouth. That. After that, he switched his whole deal up and started going to the body and did he, he, he attacked the body. And then started going to got to watch the fight. Right? Again. Did he? Did he? Did he switch his fight up, or did he become more aggressive? No, no. He switched. He, he his, started he switched his style up because fighting. because like I was saying with, with Crawford, style of fighting. Crawford, you can see him leading with the left foot in mid fight. Like he just will switch, switch it up, up in mid, or not even mid fight. Who has he yeah. fought though? Come on, man. We can't say the boy <laughs> fighting on free fights. He can't. He can't. He only, he, only, he only fights who's in front of him. He yeah. can't. He don't determine. No, who, that he he does determine, not determine. He, he can determine. He does not. They both fought the same guy, and they threw in the towel. When, Bro- when, when Crawford, when Crawford fought, fought him. him. Yeah, I don't know but why. But that, that was an after. But that was a, why, that was a, why, that's the same fight I said with why Pacquiao why, Mayweather. Why did his because, dad do that, though? Because he was scared of his son getting hurt. Yeah, because he, no, he, he wasn't. He, wasn't he was hurt. No, Dave. He, he was, was hurt. He wasn't hurt. He was landing a lot of shots. Man, he, he was, was landing shots, but the, um, Shane Mosley wasn't hurt. He said he wasn't hurt. Was it Shane Mosley? Shane, was it Porter? It no, Sean Porter. I'm sorry. Sean Porter, excuse me. Sean Porter. He said he wasn't hurt. Sean Porter was taking a lot was, of shots. He was taking a lot of punishment. A he lot took, of punishment. He, he took punishment from both fighters. Bruh. But Earl Spence, Earl Spence didn't stop him. Yeah. Like how he, 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 knocked, he had to throw he, it. He knocked him down. His dad he didn't have him. Right. His mom I, almost threw the towel. I disagree with that. Just like I disagree. I disagree with that. But with the Sean Porter situation, I think it was Crawford's ability to mid fight. Like they went in there with a plan. Like okay, we gonna go. We gonna you know Sean Porter's a dog. He comes head first. Like he puts his head down and try to come at you like a pit bull. 
But when Crawford was like switching up angles, bop, bop, still bopping him, he's like, bro, he did this in the ring. I can't. Bop, 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 bop. Oh, he did this. So Bob was like, no, we, we, I don't we, want no more. He didn't have nothing for him. He didn't have nothing for him. We're forgetting how big Earl Spence is, though. <laughs> I agree he's that. He's bigger than I Crawford. I will agree to that. That's he's one thing I will than say. Crawford. He's bigger than any fighter that he's, he's ever taller. fought. And yeah. it's just, I will agree to that, he can yeah. take a punch. I will agree. And he's not going to stop. He's yeah. not going to stop. So I like know. Spence. I hate, I hate going against him. I, 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 I do too. Honest, I like Spence. I like Spence as a fighter. But I don't know, man. I, I'm just, I think Crawford has something in his bag for him. He has. He's like well, I say. It's like happening on July twenty sixth or July what twenty ninth? Twenty sixth or twenty ninth? One of those. Yeah, it's, it's happening in it July, yeah. and everybody's going to be glued to the television yeah. or wherever you're at for that fight. Yeah, and yeah. you know what I'm saying. So you're going to be in Vegas. I will be in Vegas. My son has a tournament down there. So come so on, staying? feel free to join me. Yeah, <laughs> feel free I'm, to join I'm, me. I'm gonna be down there. I'm gonna be down there the first weekend of it. Well, the, I'm gonna be down there the week. Yeah, the, but that uh, ain't the week that the fight is. I know, I'm talking about but I'm gonna be down there the 9th through the 13th. So I'm saying, come on, we down, be down there the 9th through the 13th. Where the, the weekend of the fight. Hey is. man, y'all let us know who y'all got on the fight. <laughs> Crawford or Spence, baby, y'all let us know. Only yeah. if I can judge me. I, I just had to throw that out there. No, so, I'm look, not I'm mad at you. I have to I'm do. taking Earl Spence Jr. I'm taking. I'm taking. I'm taking the dark skin. Uh, uh, milk, but, milk dog, <laughs> Bud the Crawford. <laughs> Throw him up. Who you got? Who you got? RK. I got Bud Crawford, man. I got Bud. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I got Bud. To go to it's gonna be a good fight. Some money on that thing. No, you man. do. And who do you got? If Canelo and Charlo fight, who you got? I got Charlo. All day. <sighs> we know your answer I'm already. White. Canelo. Like I said, Canelo is getting old, and there is Canelo's someone is done. I ain't gonna say done. He's, he's getting done. old. Like, he's getting, if Triple G's it. done, when, Canelo's when done. He now. went up and fought the dude up that he just that he lost to. I'm like, bro, you need to stop, bro. Like, don't don't go fight nobody heavier than you. Yeah, yeah. Just stay. That's stay why he's running from he's running from Benavides because Benavides called him out. Yeah, yeah. yeah ben, you don't want yeah out. Benavides. Yeah, no, Benavides, no yeah, Benavides, that's a, I didn't realize he's he's in 154. Not Ben. I think Benavidez might be higher than me. He might be he like sixty two or something. He's yeah. big. He's bigger than like heavyweight. Dude. Yeah, he's like right. He's big. Heavy he's big, man. He so hits. Benavidez, he can fight wild. And he hits. Nah, nah not that. Hey, not that. Hey, hey, but nah, you know what? Too, that, might, that might not be a bad fight. No. No, that's not. That's a bad fight. Why? Because no. you got to think, Benavidez, I bet, Wild, Wild is like 6'6". Six, six. He's 6'7". Six, that, that's a lot of reach that he has to break down. How and well, some power. How that's Benavidez. How long is Benavidez's reach is long, too. But that's power. It is. You just got to not get hit. But he got power, too. Why are you not going to get hit by the safari punch? That brother be throwing like that. No, but I'm just saying. If you can can box, you you know what I'm saying? That that might be interesting. You know who's punching always reminds me of when I see Wilder fighting? Because I love Pacers. So it always reminds me of Jermaine O'Neal's Malice in the Palace. Oh, yeah. Remember when he came across the hole and slid into it? I'm like, if he would have connected with that guy, he would have killed him. He was going to let him. He would have killed that guy for sure. No, I'm glad glad, glad he did miss. But uh, like I said, I mean, boxing is a a very, very entertaining sport. And it can go either way. Just like, in my personal opinion, I still believe that Lomachenko was robbed of that fight. Agreed. I don't I think I don't I, think Devin Haney won the fight. Yeah. I don't know if Lomachenko. Now that they say he didn't do enough to win the fight, yeah. but in a worst case scenario, I call it a draw. I thought the last yeah. six rounds of it, Lomachenko was getting on him. Six of the last seven, because yeah. I think Lomo took off the um, the, the twelfth, twelfth round. Yeah, I, but I it's just like I five, thought six, I, the, w- the decision that they made again. I know I was, we've yeah. talked about it in previous. Um, Cast, episodes. but um, previous episodes, but I just, yeah. I still just don't think that just shows you that boxing is just really fickle at times. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I, the judges is always a mystery. It seems like whoever's paying them the most is who they vote for. Agree. Yeah. But I, 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 to be honest, you know, I was surprised. I thought that Haney got a draw at most. I didn't, at I most. didn't expect for it to be lopsided like that. You yeah. Because, yeah. Uh, yeah, Lomachenko, I didn't think he, um, he still was in the fight. He was pressing. You know, he was throwing throwing punches and stuff. And yeah. Haney didn't show me enough. Nah. He, he actually showed me that he needs a little bit more, more, more work. Yeah. If you're you know you being saying? honest. Right. Yeah. You know, if you're right. being honest. He needs like, a little bit more skill. Because yeah, we, we, we all three of us came away from that saying he's not ready for Tank. No. You know what I mean? He might be ready for Tia Fimo. I don't know. But he's, yeah. you know, the, the, he's got the belts. But there's some, the bright lights, I'm, you know, I don't know. I'm not man. even going to lie to you. The way Tia Fimo fought this weekend, I'm, I'm, I'm almost positive. I think Tia Fimo might get him. If he fights the same, but the only thing is, is once again, you gotta beat the champ because yeah. the way the way Tia Fima or the way um, he, he, yeah, Lomachenko, I like that but, but 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 yeah. no, they don't. 
uh, um, 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 Haney got all of them. Haney got all of them at 130. Where's the division? Yeah, yeah. Okay. See, Fimo just got the two at 140. Yeah. But who knows where the fight's going to be at. But I think the way Tiafimo f- or fought this last week might yeah. be because because he Devin Haney in that fight showed me Devin Haney's too flat footed and if you really get in him he's not he don't he's not he's not like Sean Porter he's not like a dog where he gonna knock you out yeah. because that's what I thought Lomachenko was doing Lomachenko was in him and he was like getting bing bing left and right like and we were throwing like noodles but when he was throwing them noodles they were yeah. landing like. Yeah. Ah, yeah, knocking the head. yeah, but he was so close on him. He was so so, close t- so, uh, so so Haney couldn't really throw and, and, and get him get him off like he would. But I think that's the same thing with Tiafimo beat uh beat Lomachenko. When he beat Lomachenko, that's he was just bouncing around the ring, right? Yeah. And that's what and that's why he beat Lomachenko when he fought him. No, but I think right. he do the same thing with Devin Haney. I think the boxing's in a good place. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I think boxing's in a good place. AB's back. Stop. I just don't. I just. <laughs> I just. I just don't. You gotta see what I, I, I just, go I just don't see nobody beating Tank Davis. No yeah, time that's so. tough. Yeah. He's I, he's the best. Yeah, I just. That's the reason I why he's box office man. That's yeah. why he's ace. Salute to the money team and Floyd Mayweather because they put him together. Even though he's doing his own thing now, you can see they still support him. But they put his career together, man. They say trust the process. Yeah, I trust was the watching process. him as a youngster, yes. all the way where he's at now, man. That's real talk. Man, they did it. They did. No, he sold out the T Mobile Center. He told about the, he sold out the T Mobile box office. Yeah, yeah. He, and, he, it, it, and the only thing he could have did that I see w- w- would have made that a little bit bigger is if he did that on Cinco de Mayo. He, had, you know, yeah. that would have been Mexican versus yeah, Joe Floyd. That's what, but they would have been thinking he would have been copying every Floyd year. every year. He got yeah. every year. I couldn't wait till Cinco de Mayo. And, like, and he wore the he outfits. The yeah. right. Like, right. Like, right. I think right. this guy's cold, right. bro. Right. Marketing, you know. So he had he had everybody on his side. I'm like, man, he was fighting a Mexican. Right. They was going for Floyd. A ton of Mexicans. Yeah. I mean, right. I think Art, Art, right. Uh, Marquez. I think right. Ortiz. He fought. Yeah. Like, yeah. He was and fighting he, he a lot of Mar- 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 or whatever his name is. Like, he was, like yeah, yeah, he, was fighting, yeah. he was fighting a ton of Mexicans on single Don Mayo. I that's, remember that. Yeah. Time. His marketing is genius. Yeah. yeah. But, but did, wow. did you, did you guys feel it? And he fought, and he fought on single Don Mayo. That's, yeah, that was his plan. Single Don Mayo, and then he had, yeah, because he was doing two a year. So he would fight single Don Mayo. And he have a December fight, so December some, fight, Dece- yeah. September or December, somewhere around that time. Yeah, he would always fight a second fight. He did it his way. He did it. Yeah. He really smart, he did. Man. He did. Maybe did you guys know how the ace? Right. How, how how that works? Like if your name is first on the card, you're the ace. Yeah, you're the money draw. I never I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. I never knew that. You're so the draw. I'm, I'm going yeah, back to the um, was it on the um, the A side? Yeah, the A side. Yeah, the A side. I did. I never. I never. I never knew that. I just I found that out. I was listening to a. You learn something new every day. Antonio, right? I was listening not Antonio talk, but I was listening to a Timothy Bradley. Cause he was talking about with Bud and well, he's talking about who he thinks the fight will go. But he was talking about that. I, I guess I guess Timothy Bradley was supposed to fight Floyd, but he he was like, "Look, you gonna pay me the money up front? If you ain't gonna pay me the money up front, then I'm not gonna fight him." So I think he took another fight. I think he might have yeah, took Pacquiao. Timothy Bradley didn't want to fight either. Yeah. But he was only looking for but like four. Did Bradley beat Pacquiao though? He did. Pa- no. He, okay. Same thing. He did beat Pacquiao. No, same. Stop. <laughs> he did beat Pacquiao. Yeah, it was the same way. It was the same on the scorecard. He won the fight on the scorecard. Correct, agree. correct. But the fight, no, he didn't. Go back and watch it. Go again. back and watch it again. No, he really did not. You know, it's the same I, same I, thing I, with this uh, Haney. I, I remember that fight. That fight, there was there was bing, 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 It was the same. Right, Pacquiao, yeah, Pacquiao had the big yeah. calves, bro. The orthopedic socks on was bing, 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 right back. Like, <laughs> yeah. but, but scorecards uh, sometimes don't go in the favor of what I agree with. So I, yeah. I get it. So I he get was, it. He was talking about. He was talking about. Uh, him. He was supposed to be fighting. Uh, Floyd, but Floyd's, Floyd's camp wouldn't give him the upfront money. They wanted to give him when once they got the pay per view money in, they wanted to get it. But he was like, he don't know how many views they're gonna get. So doesn't that sound familiar? That's the same thing Crawford was saying was going on with them when he yeah. was trying to fight Spence. Yeah, yeah but they would They, 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 they don't, don't want to give him that guarantee now, yeah. and they didn't want. Well, this is what I heard. They didn't want to give him the guarantee now, and they didn't want to give him a rematch yeah. on whoever. They now I'm hearing, but, and they and they were telling them you'll get paid off the pay per view, but you can't right. audit the pay per view, and you can't say we, we, the numbers when it come in. We're not going to tell you the numbers. You're just going to get yeah, the money exactly. that we're giving you. Like exactly. you can't go back and say, "Oh man, how many views did we get?" Guess who can dictate that? The ace. The A side. Agree. I'm not denying. We know who the we know who the, the draw a, is. The A side. Yeah. Agree. The, the A side. Just like right agree. now, Earl Spence is the A side. 
I, well, he's the so draw. I, I wonder what the odds are if I put some money on Crawford right now. Go ahead. You can lose your money. <laughs> you said you ain't going to lose no money. You're going yeah, to yeah, lose that. Like, you might pay for my whole team. You're going to lose that money that night. <laughs> you're going to lose that money. You, hey. I think it's a – but I think, I think even though even though um, Spence is a draw, I think their numbers is close. I yeah. think one's like a plus 101 and one's like a minus 101. It's not that bad. Or one, 110. Yeah. One's plus 110, one's minus 110. Hey, so you're not going to get no money. Spence is going to continue to be the champion. He's going to be undisputed. This is what I hope. He's going to be undisputed. I hope Man. that they don't say in order to beat the champ, you got to beat the champ. That's that's the fact of see, what that's what is. See, that's, that's, that's what I'm – That's boxing. That's what I, I – I agree. That's what just I happened with Devin Haney. Agreed. I agree. And I hope they don't use that scorecard of – Because Crawford starts you, slow. He does. Yeah, he does. He does. He does. He do, he's not aggressive. He, the, he don't bring the fight he to you. He tries to figure him out. He tries to figure him out. In the in, – Problem could be you can wait too late because when Earl Spence gets going, agree to that too. It's tough to I'll stop. Agree to that machine. too. I agree. And but I'm not, if I'm you not taking nothing away from Bud but because if, Bud is phenomenal. Yeah. But if you take that long, you're not fighting. Um, you're not fighting Sean Porter. This Man. is Earl Spence. You're not Man. fighting Danny Garcia. This is Earl Spence. This is Man. the guy. Keep Thurman. You're you're not fighting any of those guys. Man. This is he's the real dude. Man. He got all the other belts and you got one. There's a reason for that, and he's held it for how long? Forever. Yeah, forever. You, you see what I'm saying? He's, mean, been, he's had some, you know, some things, you know, that kept him out the ring for. for yeah, he almost yeah. died twice. He, he, yeah. I, I mean, yeah, I'm not knocking that man. He's, right. he's done a lot to be back in that ring. Right, yeah, for he sure. A lot of credit between know? the eye and the crash. Yeah, and that man. stuff is crazy, man. man. I know. I listen on both. Look, I'm God. going through the crash with the bat, so God. I'm like, bro, God, God be with him, <laughs> man. For and real. I done had the eye because he was supposed to. He was supposed to fight Manny Pacquiao, wasn't he? He was, yep, with the eye, before the eye. Before he the eye, he was supposed to fight, fight Pacquiao. He, that, he was gonna, he That's the reason why he career. didn't. <laughs> he, yeah, he, I'm not going to lie to you. To be <laughs> honest with you, I, he really might have. He was going to end Pacquiao's career. <laughs> he really might have. That, 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 was, that, was, the, that was the setup. He'd send him out to be a politician. <laughs> he really, hey, he was already there. <laughs> Look, right. He's collecting checks right, anyway. Right, right, he, for he, sure. He's already, look, he's sending all of his money back home anyway, look. Hey, so the next topic. Um, First Ford and now GM – are using the Tesla connector for electric cars. Man. I man. you know what? The Jetsons is real. Yeah. That's all I can say. Yeah. I'm watching people on Instagram when you go to Reels, they are in their Tesla with their feet cocked sideways <laughs> on the road. On the road, like their hands are behind their head and their feet are on this way across the See. little in, in the cars driving. Yeah. I never thought yeah. I would see this day. Man, all right. You take it from somebody who just came off the road. Yes, talk to us. Using cruise control. Right. I could just, man, if I had the ability to just to let the car drive itself. Like, what? I've just seen um, GMC is advertising the same technology inside their trucks now. I believe it. So, yeah. it, it's, it, I mean, this is the next level cruise control, man. <laughs> yes, it is. It's like, you just, I mean, if I could have just. 12-hour ride, just put... Right. Uh, uh, and set it, and you forget just, it. Put, and, and, and you drive might, behind you the car. Might, you might go to sleep. You might wake up, and it's still... Man, it's, it's changing lanes. It's taking... Yeah. I, don't know it's, I, don't know change, I don't know if it changes lanes yet. It can change so. lanes. It can I, change I, 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 don't, I, thought, I thought it keeps up with the person controlled by the I, car in front I, of you. Well, you got to look That's again. I, I believe it changed lanes. Yeah. I, the commercial would appear to change lanes. Yeah, well, I've you, seen, I've seen, I, well, I've heard okay. that it only that when you put it on, it adapts to the car in front of you. So you put it at a speed. So I say, if you got up to like sixty five, you can hit the button and it will stay at sixty five. If a car in front of you cuts you off, it will slow down and keep a distance between you and that car. I don't know if it's switching over into the lane. We got, we got but to look that thing, up. But the other thing we is, is that up. Yeah, yeah. it would have to somewhat Raquel, merge. We need you to look that up. It would have to merge over into the lane. I don't know if it's switching over in the lane because if lanes do cut off, it would have to get over. Yeah. So. Yeah. I, I've oh, saw so yeah. so. What about the, the 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 truck that LeBron was advertising with the crab walk? Like it could the, turn the, the, the wheels. Oh, yeah. It could turn the wheels it, like yeah, like a the crab. Yeah, the Man, come yeah, on, yeah, dog. What crazy. is going on? Yeah, that's the yeah. H three or what? H four. Yeah, that I, that scared me because yeah. I'm like, bro, <laughs> it seems like you're not in control of the car. I mean, yeah. the cars are doing what they're doing more than we. Thought I couldn't imagine my car. You getting a car? Hey, David. I'm oh, about to take you for a ride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's at some point in time it's gonna start talking. <laughs> That's the next oh, thing. I agree. I, like the car's gonna be programmed to talk like to you. Siri. Hey, good I morning, agree. David. We're, we going to work right now? Oh, that's yeah. our robot. Yeah. That, that's no, what no, I'm saying. I, I but that's, I, I, that's the direction we're heading. Yeah. To even to talk about that, there was just something where they said they found the U the, the UFO 
and they were bringing it back, and it was on the freeway <laughs> driving, and they saw the big <laughs> UFO, and people was crashing. And then also, the people that said there was something 8 to 10 feet in Las Vegas. In their backyard. In their backyard. Yeah. And they said the police showed up, and something took off or something Yeah. Like that. that dog, what is, what is going on? They're here. This, all right. <laughs> They're here. You can be on this hype, man. It's, it's a rabbit <laughs> hole. Oh, man. They're here. I mean, because we seen, uh, we heard about that that pulsating sound coming from the center of the universe. You know what I'm saying? I told right. y'all about the center of Earth, man. No, center of the universe. I told y'all. I told y'all about that center. The center of Earth? The center of Earth. What? The what rich you? people was there. Oh, you got oh, stop man. it. <laughs> <laughs> I told y'all the one percenters were there. Oh, oh my oh, God. Hey. I don't put nothing past nothing no more. Man, I mean, I, have I we gone? Know. Have we gone all around the world in, in, in a jet? Have you made a complete circle around in a jet? I don't think you can. You have how, how, the end. Ain't they say that we're around a globe? You can't do it in a jet. Don't tell me you're a flat earther, man. Yeah, you can't do it in. I'm a jet. I'm not a flat earther, but have you? How, how how do you go all the way around? You got to go in space spacecraft. You can't do it in a jet around the Earth. How not? Listen to what you're saying, Dwayne. Right. If I'm in a plane, Dwayne, you're not listening to what you're saying. And I, and I in take a plane, off, you would go, you would disintegrate. I'm not going around the earth. I'm talking about. I'm talking about this. If I got in a plane right now, got to whatever altitude it is that the that the airplanes go to, and just keep going north, where would I go? You end up. You end up. To the north yeah. pole. And and then as I, as I got north, then where should I go? I should end up at the at, at down south and coming right back up till I get back north, right? Yeah. If this is not That's not earth. going around the earth. That's going through. No, no, no. He's That's, talking about going from the Okay, well then the I'll go around. I'll go you to, I'll from. start I'll go top and then what I'll, is, I'll start what, going east. What is your point? If I started going east and kept going east, eventually you should come out by Hawaii and come back. No, it, that's to where going you, west. If I went east, oh, if you go east all the and way, and I went all the way around from from the to the, across New York, the United, United to, States, to, 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 to yeah, Africa, China. to yeah. Asia, to yeah. coming back around, you should be coming back from Hawaii, yeah, and pulling back up to, to Washington. That's right. Okay. If you if you wish, that's just going straight east. Is okay. that what you're telling me? Yep. Has anybody done that? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure there, there have been people. I don't know. Or do you see people flying, taking flights? And they go up in it because I think I'm not gonna lie. I'm 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 somewhat believing this flat Earth, not believing it. The Earth is I'm not so, flat, fam. How, how do you know it's not? We can read the Bible. <laughs> read the Bible. I'm not. I'm not. Hey, no, I'm just saying. If we want to get into that discussion, that's something completely different. You got to read the book. The, the Earth is round. <laughs> the other planets are round. Man, there is no flat planets. I mean, that's how gravity works. That's how planets are formed. That, but that's but that's what they tell us. No, that's the truth. <laughs> yeah. That's what they. That's what they tell us. I'm saying, you believe. You believe we was on the moon too. I don't know if we were on the I'm, moon. Hey, I, I really. I've I I, I, I seen a video. I talked to my partner, and he he said that you know he he has somebody, that was done in Hollywood. He has somebody that close that's close to him that's inside the service right now, and said that there's astronauts up there working on the moon. I right believe, now, I special believe. like special force, special military. And forces. you don't believe Elon Musk hasn't been to the moon? Of course he has. There's things out there on the moon, is what he said. Other life forms, life forms on the moon. I don't. I wouldn't doubt that. I don't know. I don't know. I wouldn't doubt that people. So been why? To why would my? Why would my? I wouldn't doubt that people been to the moon. I'm telling you, you yeah. can go there. Yeah. Why Elon Musk is not going to keep it the slogan for no reason? I don't, yeah, I don't, why we haven't been back? Right, people, people have been. They just are not. They're not telling you. You. Oh, what do you man. think is in Area Fifty One? You think humans are there? Oh, no, no. I'm, I'm honestly. You think. You think. You think humans are there? Why would they keep it so classified that nobody can get to it? Yeah. Within a, it's not a prison. What you see? What I'm saying? It's a, it's an area that keeps a, unknown species. <laughs> I'm telling you. Stop. You can believe what you want to believe. I don't know. That's stuff that they bring crazy, back. Man. Huh? Stuff that they done brought back and captured is there? Absolutely. Absolutely, I'm not. I'm not believing. There's you don't believe that there's like you don't believe that God made more than one species. I believe that. Okay, so where where do they live? They live in other planets and other places. You don't understand that part. I'm not believing it, but okay. I'm, I'm, I'm well. Uh, when I, I'll put it to you, when 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 the Bible says, since we're gonna get biblical for a second, people, when he looked back, looked for somebody to to redeem mankind, yeah. the Bible says he looked on top of the earth. He looked underneath the earth. What's on top of the earth and underneath the earth? Other planets. On earth itself. In 
there's other planets that's on top of. When you go around on the top and on the bottom of, there's other planets. So there's life out there. We we call them aliens. We don't know what they are. Yeah. We don't know what they consider us as. You know what I'm saying? Anything that you see in the movies, Dwayne, you told us. Agree. It's happening in real life. I agree. Yeah, you guess it. Because, I 100% agree. So, but I'm not believing the 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 the, 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 the space thing. You don't you don't believe that there is life on other planets? That the Earth is flat, though. No, I never said I don't believe it. <laughs> that no. is crazy. No, no, I said I said this. I said is I the don't, moon flat too? And once again, I said I don't believe <laughs> that the Earth is flat, but I said I'm not discrediting that the Earth is flat either. So then, what is the belief then? Just because I don't believe one doesn't mean discredit me. Make I, that I just that I'm supposed to believe. You got to you got to read the book. If I a say more. if I say if I say no, I don't believe this. That doesn't mean I believe this. So when 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 people yes. are when people are in space, you automatically assume since I say no, I don't believe no, it. No, no, that I'm not, I have to. no, no, I'm not assuming anything. I'm saying when people are in space and they come back in those NASA, I cannot say they're in space. Uh, Was there videos of what, them in what, space? What, 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 they show plenty of things where people uh, videos Na- NASA where they're in space what about the flying. Right. What, what about the pictures that they showed us? The pictures. Agree. Do you the believe pictures, the, the pictures you believe the all the pictures? The pictures from the satellites. Well. You believe everything? I heard. Well, I heard one of them pictures was like Photoshop or somewhere. My guy was bouncing on 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 the, or in in space, and then in one of the videos, they had a rat running through the through the. Uh, I pro- <laughs> I, you can look it. I, I promise you can look it up on YouTube now. There was a rat running through the camera like it was recording in the studio or something. I, I wish we I wish we had the video of it. I seen it with my own eyes. I'm like, what? They had a rat running like hey, it was like a little. Oh. We're, we're, we're gonna I'm save. Like, oh. We're gonna save the rest of this. Oh. For, for another go time. No, go ahead, RK. Probably, RK, like, go ahead. Go ahead, RK. I was just going to get back to what we were talking about with the, uh, the electric cars and stuff. Right. Oh, uh, you know. <laughs> I promise you. Uh, I'm going to show you that video. Look it up. I'm just saying. I uh, promise. I think, it's a, I think this is a big deal as far as the, uh, the electric connectors, you know what I'm saying, the, the situation, because Tesla came out with the technology, and, and we all, you know, there's electric cars, but they pretty much brought it to market, right? They right. showed it to be successful. But what they did do with Elon Musk, and I might have talked about this in the past, is that he gave everybody the, the prototypes, yeah. the documents. He open sourced the technology. Yeah. With the with all the autom on the, all the all the Automotive. other automakers got a hold of it, they decided to come with their own connection. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we're gonna we're gonna take this technology, but we're gonna come up with our own connector. Yeah. But they got these slow charging stations. So all these electrical cars, which my niece rented one while I was in LA, and it, it sucked because we couldn't even get it to charge up. In the time that we was, you know, we watch a movie, so, it yeah, only yeah, go up five yeah. percent. You wow. know what I'm saying? So we, she never got it up. She couldn't even ride, drive from where we were in San Diego, close to San Diego, all the way to L.A. without charging it up, and she couldn't get it charged. It wouldn't. We, she parked it multiple times trying to get it to charge up, wouldn't charge. That's scary. So yeah. Tesla got the rapid charger technology. Yeah. By uh, by Ford first making this change, and GM now making the change to Tesla's connector, just like a. Change it to an Apple connector from you know from something else. Right. By making that change, it's going to change the game because now it's a standard. Imagine having a gas filling up your car with gas, but you don't have the right connector for the to put the to gas. The in the car. Can't, yeah. You can't. You can't get the gas. You can't get no gas. Yeah. Right. So now that they're changing this plug, so that it's, it's ubiquitous, it's GM, Ford, and all in Teslas. It's pretty much standardizing the game. All the, everything else is going to have to fall off, and that's a game changer. So it's going to make electric cars become uh, more popular, more faster. Yeah. I, I'm done talking about it. That's yeah, that. Man. That's just. Well, are you going to get electric cars? The question. No. Are about you? Gas. I'm. I'm gonna get one. <laughs> I'm gonna get one, just because. Okay. Just to see. Just to kind of see. Just because to kind of see. You gonna right. get, let your kids get in it? Of course. Okay. But then what happens when it gets hot and they say you can't drive? You know, don't charge your car. I promise you, I was headed down to. Uh, to uh, <laughs> I was headed down to, um, to Olympia for one of the track meets, and you know the, the 18 wheelers be having like. 10, 10, 10 cars on the back of them. I promise you. I thought it was one of them hot days, and the and the truck was pulled over, but all the cars was Tesla, and they were all off the rack. And I'm like, is the, is the cars over overheating? They were all on the side of the highway. Like all the Teslas was lined up. I'm like, dang, that's, that's scary. But I thought they were. I thought it was like, I was, I was, I was. I didn't know why they was, but all the Teslas was on the side of the road. As if like they were overheating because it was a I, hot day. I'm not getting no electric. I don't know. I'm gonna go continue to pay the gas money to five bucks. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> continue to pay the five bucks. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, yeah, I'm gonna get one. You are? Well, yeah. I definitely I'll, I'll, deuces. I'll let, let you, they, they, let they, you they, do they, what you do. I, I've been in them and they go too fast. Do, oh, do they? Oh, I've never yeah, been in do. one. I've never I promise one. you, it was it goes three or, or zero to a hundred in in seconds. Like that's amazing. Like just. <laughs> 
like go kart style. Rap, yeah. rap, rapping the um the the, the hard hitting the hard in the paint up, which has been really really intriguing and really good. But this part of the um show is actually brought to us by Lake Berrien Presbyterian Church. Man, we appreciate the space and the opportunity yeah. that you allow us to spread the good news um and have a great time. Shout out to um Benjamin Demps as well. Um, my yeah. brother that's uh, provided the space and the opportunities here in the podcast room. Um, you guys got anything to expound upon that at all? Um, no, nah, that's definitely good. That's definitely good. I will say Father's Day is coming up, so I kind of wanted to shift on something also. I mean, we, we can go and do as you do. Are we doing rapid fire? Yep. Uh, but no, I was just, I just with Father's Day coming up, um, I know us as African, African-American African fellas, we all have husbands, or we all have wives, we all have children. We all are fathers. You know what I meant to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are all fathers. <laughs> all fathers uh, and if not, and husbands. That's what I meant to say. I didn't yeah. say we had husbands. We are husbands. I got me a beautiful queen at the house. <laughs> okay, for sure, for sure. Um, uh, but there's a lot of people who have uh, raised me and, um, and uh, shaped me into the individual I am today. And uh, as Father's Day is coming up and approaching, um, those individuals who have um, showed up, they say uh, it takes a village to raise a child. I was fortunate that I had a village raise me, but didn't know I had a village raise me. Like Me growing up without a father, there was a ton of people who took me under their wings, and as I got older, I'm like, man, looking back, I'm like, geez, there was a lot of people who were really, really looking after me, especially the Lord looked after me for the most, but there was a lot of individuals who impacted me in my life, and I'm going to take this Father's Day and this time you know, to uh, extend that Appreciation to all every last one of the individuals who has made that effort because I me as a as a father today I know in order for me to raise my children it, I'm not just the only one that raises my children when he's in the public you and y'all see him cutting up uh, little boy come here or when you see him look hey look you, you should be doing it and so I think it takes a village nowadays for our kids to be raised we are the examples at home and we hope that that happens outside of the home but it's not always <clears throat> carried on but you guys know the integrity that I carry, so when y'all do see him, it's kind of an extension of it. And so that's all I was just thinking, like, man, good, Father's Day do come. Good stuff. Uh, let those, get those, get those individuals their flowers while they're still here that's and exactly. appreciate them individuals. Like, man, happy Father's Day to you fathers, man. I know we ain't gonna see how to the next episode, but man, keep doing your thing. Keep being impactful in, in your children's life. You know, keep being great men, great brothers, great, 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 uh, great, great sons. Man, keep doing your thing, man. Blessings, King. So keep doing your thing. For sure. Right, happy Father's Day, bro. You want to expound on that at all, okay? okay. Um, I mean, it's, it's definitely something that um, you know, that you got to take heed to because uh, you know, they because of the fact that they say, um, fathers, you know, Father's Day is one of the least, one of the least, one of the least popular holidays. So you know what I'm saying? Get a um, toaster. Yeah, <laughs> get a toaster or a Bill Cosby say get yeah, a tie or something. You know what I'm saying? saying? Right. Well, why does the women always get something that they can have a part of? I'm like, bro. Right. But go ahead. But, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, fathers should be appreciated. You know what I'm saying? And I, I guess I'm biased in saying that, but fathers should be appreciated. And, I, and to your point, man, there are there have been a, a few different um, individuals in my life that have t- stepped it up and taken that role as a father figure or a mentor or, or you know, sometimes as a, a proto-father, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I definitely um, – you on that man, yeah. and I salute you guys as yeah. well as yeah. fathers and as men. Respect, That's gentlemen. Respect. respect, and like I said, I mean, what's said has been said, and I would just like to say, you guys are model fathers. Appreciate and that. I and I, I, I admire the way you raise your children, the way you do things, and it's much love and respect on that for sure. Because, like I said, it used to be a difficult holiday for me without having a father, yeah. and so it just was tough, and I really didn't understand it enough to celebrate it because I was always had so much rage on the inside without having a dad, but, mm-hmm. you know, with me having my own children, man, it yeah. took, a, took a different perspective on yeah. it. So it was, it was had to, for years it was a very sensitive thing to me, but in my growth of being a father, it just, you know, definitely I try to do, give the, my kids the best I can day in and day out. That's right. That's Real right. talk. Yeah. We salute all you fathers out there. Happy Father's Day to you yeah. as well. Hope you enjoy your day. Yeah. Probably be a lot of restaurants open, so you can pick and choose where you want to go <laughs> as well. Like right, right. Not at all. Not at all. Out here on 45-minute wait. Right, 45 right. Minute wait. 
Hey man, we are. You mother, hey man, before we get going, you mothers out there, please do not buy <laughs> gifts, and you have a piece of it. Don't get him a toaster or a uh, man a, a, a vacuum that you are gonna use too. Like, bro, get that man something he gonna use by himself. Get him a watch, man, a, a, a wallet or something, man. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> no, no more ties. Look, we don't want those. We done with those. Look, hey man, belt buckles. The, it's, no, it's the thought that counts. No, man. it is. <laughs> man, give me a fitted cap. Look, give me something. Look, no doubt, man. We are at our favorite part, gentlemen. Man, it's been a pleasure with yes, you guys sir. again in the studio. It feels really good. And yeah, um, yeah. rapid fire, man. I need these answers quick, <laughs> fast, and in a hurry. Y'all ready, gentlemen? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Family matters or the Cosby Show. Who that? I'm going to go Cosby. Yeah. I was going to go family, but I'm like, yeah, yeah I'm going to go Cosby. Yeah, Cosby. Yeah. Qdoba or Chipotle? Chipotle. Chipotle. I like Chipotle, too. Chipotle. I like Chipotle, too. They got a little different yeah. variety of meats, yeah. huh? Yeah. Not a knock against Qdoba. Though. Right. Nah. Yeah. I, I really am no, a big fan of No, I like Qdoba. That, I, it has I'm the not, more variety of meats. I like Qdoba. I'm Qdoba. Oh. I like I like the shell. Yeah, I like the shell. You know about that, Ken. Um, belts or suspenders? Ooh. Belts, man. I, I know the OG's gonna say suspenders. I'm gonna say I'm suspenders too. That <laughs> style, look. Oh yeah, yeah I'm gonna yeah. throw them on. Look, uh, they got. <laughs> 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 That's swaggy. <laughs> uh, hey, I'm not that. Remember that dude from with, with hey, Billy? Hey, look, he's like, oh, oh, yeah. oh, Bosworth <laughs> Billy. <laughs> That's swaggy. That's swaggy. Man. Yeah, that. Andre 3000, man. He'll have the suspenders hey, up with the big glasses, That's man. That's swag. Kool Aid or Hawaiian Punch. I'm gonna go Hawaiian Punch, but you can get Hawaiian Punch in that Kool Aid. But I'm a Hawaiian puncher. Yeah, I love yeah. I love Hawaiian Punch. Hawaiian Punch. Yeah. Brian McKnight or Babyface? Oh, Brian McKnight been going ham. Hey, he has, though. he has. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, Brian McKnight for that song. That I'm gonna go Brian McKnight too. But I was about to say Babyface had some cuts though, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, Babyface is solid, man. He's he's the truth, man. But. Brian McKnight's got that one song from that one time. Never, 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 so? You think yeah, I think Katie's going down. Yeah, but I think eight or Greeks on on the verge of going down. He's only twenty eight or whatever it is, but he's on his way. Most most electric. Mike Vick or Lamar Jackson? Whoa, that's Mike a tough Vick. one. Yeah. I, I, that's a tough one. Ooh, look at you! You think yeah. <laughs> you thinking Lamar twice? Lamar Jackson, but Mike Vick, if he didn't go through what he Agreed. went through. Agreed. But I'm just talking about electricity on the field. I'm gonna go, go Vick. I'm gonna go Vic on the field. I'm gonna go Vic. Yeah, just on the field. But yeah. but we're talking about like you say. Like I hear Wayne. He was. Yeah, yeah, he was. Like Vic, do you remember the commercial when he threw the ball out of the out of the? I'm like, <laughs> bro, I thought for sure like that dude got a cannon. Coach better not play that dude. <laughs> both both of you guys like music, so this this is a tough question. What do you like better, the beats or the lyrics? You gotta choose one. Oh, I'm gonna go. I'm a, I'm an R and B or so. You just gotta pick one. The beats are the lyrics. I'm gonna go beats. Yeah. Kay is shaking her head like she want to be a part of this. Yeah. You yeah. like what, what you say, Kay? Beats. I'm go beats. What you you everybody say beats? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Pharrell or Kanye? Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna go Kanye. Too. I'm, not, I'm, I'm gonna go Pharrell. Pharrell. Go Pharrell is, is, so, is so dope. He's a superb musician. He really is, right? Yeah. But. Kanye got he got some songs Genius. that speak to me. You brilliant. know what I'm saying? I agree. He's a brilliant mind. He's a really, really unique. So that's why it's that's why it's yeah, rapid fire. Re- that's yeah. why it's that's, rapid yeah. fire. Um, laptop or iPad? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go laptop, but I do like the iPad. Yeah, I think I'm laptop. Yeah, I'm laptop. A pool or a hot tub? Ooh, I'm a swimmer. I like pools. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. As long as it's a warm pool, or if we go to Hawaii, that water depends. Kinda, uh, it depends. It depends. <laughs> See, that's what that's where just that's where just came from. That's where just came from, man. So, the last one is gonna be tough. There's four presidents on Mount Rushmore. 
There's four presidents on Mount Rushmore. Yeah. Mount Rushmore. Yeah. I need your Mount Rushmore of football. Mount Rushmore of football. The four greatest players in football that you would say to be on your Mount Rushmore. I got Joe Montana. Okay. And Jerry Rice. Okay. Because I grew up watching them guys. Um, okay. And he, and he loves and he loves the Bay. So Bo he, Jackson. Okay. Ooh. Man. Who's your fourth one? I'm gonna go. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> I got a couple of them though. <laughs> but, uh, I'm gonna go. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> that would go. Uh, I'm gonna go. Uh, uh, Icky Wood. Icky. Shuffle? That's your yeah. that's your Mount Rushmore. Oh, you know I'm a Cincinnati Bengals. Okay, fan. okay, that's yours. Oh, yeah. like, your, in your opinion, Whoa. what about you? I'm gonna go Peyton Manning. Okay. I'm gonna go Barry Sanders. Okay. Oh yeah, Barry. I'm gonna go. Jeez, Peyton Manning, Barry Sanders. I'm gonna have to say, man, I might have to put Walter Payton on there. Okay. Mm. I'm gonna have to put Walter, and I'm gonna put OJ on there. I was T. I thought that was that's what I was debating. I was like, I'm gonna go OJ. That's why I laughed. I was like, ooh, I'm gonna go OJ. The juice was serious. The juice was mine. The juice was serious. The juice was mine. That's really good. Who's your four? Who's your four? My four. I'm going with um, Joe Montana. Oh, yeah. Randy Moss. Lawrence Taylor. Ooh. And Ray Lewis. Ray Lewis. Ray. That boy got think that boy got thinkers team. on this. Uh. That boy got thinkers. Yeah. What when, about um, nobody said Tom Brady? Nah. I don't, I like Tom Brady. I don't right. he's just not he's my, my, my Mount Rush. I, like yeah. I grew up in the era of Joe Montana where he dominated the sport. Exactly. Tom Brady is the greatest of all time. But like you say, this is my right. That's why Peyton Manning. It's like Jerry Rice is the greatest wide receiver, but I loved how Randy Moss did. I agree. Yeah. He was I different. Agree. He, he had was. a different deal about himself, man. Agree. And I look Lawrence Taylor, yeah, went, went, hey. the lightning bolt earrings. He, was, everybody was scared of him. Everybody yeah. was scared of Ray Lewis. He, they pumped fear yeah. in people from the linebacker position. Right. So they just dominated the sport. Yeah, the, the, I didn't have no defensive players on my list. Too. Yeah, I just, the I just, closest, did, I didn't want two offense, two defense because yeah. I just looked at it with. Montana dominated. Moss really dominated. Yeah. Um, Lawrence Taylor dominated. And Ray Lewis dominated. He won the Super Bowl based off the defense. That could have yeah. been Ronnie Lott, too. You could have went Ronnie Lott. I was going I was going I was going to put T.O. on mine, but I was like, it's nah. It's not, not a bad one, though. But, uh, he was yeah, serious. T.O. was a monster. T.O. was serious. a monster. Hey, in closing, yeah. gentlemen, it's been a pleasure. Man, Again, it's good to be week, in the man. building, man. It's good to be it's in the building, be, right? The building, building feels feel so much better, man. Don't it, though? Yeah, just it, the it feels good, man. <laughs> it's electrifying to be yeah. able to work with you, brothers, man. Like That's I said, I, I appreciate um, everything. Like I said, the topics, the discussion, based off the opinion. People out there, we appreciate you watching. <laughs>